Hello there. Welcome back to another exciting adventure on our channel. Whether you're a long-time subscriber or just stumbled upon us, we're thrilled to have you here. Get ready to dive in, learn something new, and most importantly, have some fun. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest content. Now, let's jump right in. I am Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, born on April 21st, 1926, in London, England. From the tender age of 25, I ascended to the throne of the United Kingdom and the other Commonwealth realms, embarking on a journey marked by duty, devotion and resilience. My reign has witnessed remarkable transformations in the world, and through it all, I have endeavoured to serve my nation with unwavering dedication. My childhood was one of privilege and duty, as the eldest daughter of the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, I was raised amidst the grandeur of royal life. Yet, even in those formative years, I was instilled with a sense of responsibility and service to my country. The unexpected abdication of my uncle, King Edward VIII, thrust me into a role I never anticipated. At the young age of 25, I became Queen Elizabeth II, following the death of my father in 1952. The weight of the crown was heavy, but I accepted the challenge with determination and a deep sense of duty. Throughout my reign, I have witnessed significant changes in society and technology. I have endeavoured to modernise the monarchy while preserving its traditions and values. From embracing televised broadcasts of royal events to engaging with the public through social media, I have sought to connect with people in new and meaningful ways. My family has been my greatest source of strength and joy. My marriage to Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, has been a steadfast partnership spanning over seven decades. Together we have raised four children and welcomed numerous grandchildren and great-grandchildren into our family. As I reflect on my legacy, I am proud of the accomplishments of my children and the enduring impact of the monarchy. My reign has not been without its challenges. From political upheavals to personal tragedies, I have faced adversity with grace and fortitude. The loss of beloved family members, including Princess Diana, has been particularly difficult. Yet, I have drawn strength from the support of my family and the resilience of the British people. As I approach the twilight of my reign, I am filled with gratitude for the privilege of serving my country and the Commonwealth. From my coronation in 1953 to the present day, I have strived to fulfil my duties with humility and dedication. Though the years have brought both joy and sorrow, I remain steadfast in my commitment to the people I am honoured to serve. As I reflect on my life and reign, I am humbled by the experiences and opportunities that have shaped me. From a young princess thrust into the spotlight to the longest reigning monarch in British history, my journey has been one of service, sacrifice and devotion. As I pass the torch to future generations, I do so with the hope that the values of duty, honour and compassion will continue to guide the monarchy and the nation for years to come. And that's a wrap for today's journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Your support means the world to us. If you have any questions, suggestions, or just want to say hi, drop a comment down below. We love hearing from you. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on those notifications to stay updated on all our future adventures. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Bye for now.